Hey, right, I'm just going to cut mine down to three minutes and I'm going to watch those babies again. <laughs> so cute. Um, I'm Kate, I've just joined Walton High School at Easter. Um, part of the dog gets to go all the way around the school. And I thought, what I'd do is I've collected together a mankind's view of some really great um, ways that the people there help the students make and demonstrate their arrest. Um, lots of people have seen before, but it just reminded me of loads of great things that I might have done in the past or new things to do. So, my idea is that I'm going to steal it from the other side of it. I think it's a good idea to report cards for the progress of the case on the and all students have got red, amber, and green in their student planners. This is a math example where um, basically students are graded, and you can see from very point of view what they need to do to get the higher and higher grades. Yes, and just what you read to all the teams we've done some presentation will be available by Dropbox to see you. Yeah, yeah. Same. Thanks. Um, here, the students are recording day by day um, what they've done towards their program. And then at the end of the topic, they're being asked how they take responsibility for their further learning, what's going to support them to do. Um, we're going to need a deadline date for it. And then any peer comments, teacher comments that we've seen along the way. Uh, I've got a dance example. Sorry, I didn't realise that I was in the This is your fault for a moment. I'm glad to know I didn't know what I was coming to. About that. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is from dance. And it just talks about like one of the um, demonstration styles where success criteria is on the right hand side, everything the students that you need to be able to do to get full marks. And then the rest of it's graded through. And underneath there are ideas of what they could do to improve. So what they could do independently to move on a little bit further. And at the bottom as well, just put a couple of places of where are they now, where are they going, three words. This is from drama. And students in drama have got um, a booklet. And um, in the booklet, they've got the levels, but then they've also got a place where they can do peer assessment, self assessment, the various critique assessments as well. And um, they can record using the words from, from the levels, and at the bottom, there's a comment, they make a comment on their feedback from the CDA. And then they've been asked, what have you done since that comment was made? What have you done to push yourself up a bit further? This is a massive display on the back of the math teacher rooms. And on it are all the three stage four grades. And I'm not sure how long you can see, but it's really hard to go from one grade to the next on all the different math areas. So they're online after the end of the It's where the students can just go up, have a look where they're at, what they need to do to move on. This is one of the green teacher rooms. And these are luggage labels with a magnet pushed through them. The, uh, each student's got one. It's got on their target and their challenging target, but it's also got some of the coding on what their literacy levels are like, what their reading age is. Um, and they can move the around, the students move them. So if they've done an activity, they'll be moved around to where they think they are now, or maybe what help they need. And uh, that's really great. Students use that a lot themselves. This is an example from art. The teacher comment says, uh, Fab, good shape and production, well done. And this is a target of the case. It's a good but in pre fairly tone, shape gradually from the light to dark. And then there's a space underneath where the student can immediately practice what they're going to have to do. So they'll shade them from dark to light. And underneath, it's clipped to the student's work, so that they can go straight away and feel that improvement. And this is Ask the Expert. All the students, this one now, after they've done one of their exams, that's paper, they give them all three post-it notes, and they have to write down the numbers of the questions that they've got the most marks for. But then you put them all on a big sheet. And from that point on, they then work together to try and make sure everybody in the class can answer all the questions on there. So that stays up, there's all their names, and that stays up until they're done. This is one 
of hormones. This is before and after. So the students have a long run, their first draft, and then after they have some um, the health and foreign books and discussion, they redo the project and it's on the right hand side. So they can see themselves how the photo is made. This comes from the end of the year. Oh, there, that's a laminated paper card. But when the students go outside onto the field, they take one with them and it gives them steps on how to improve their jabbing techniques. And um, this face of peer setting on the right hand side, so they can watch the students and ask them to see them. But it gives them something else to do, you know, not just being told how to improve, but what you can do to actually make that point up. This is a piece of marking from Alison and Emma. She's graded it. She's going to see the and then one day she's asked the students to do something specific. So he writes a sentence about a mother relative, that are nothing corrections. So the students then have a go and teach the text on the program. Right, this is the course that we're just bringing in on the wing. So when the staff goes to mark the wings, the other staff do. W, something's done well. I, something that's not gone so well. And the students being asked then to immediately do something. In this case, we're going to correct the sentence, uh, but unlined, um, but makes sense. And then, um, what kind of level are we going to have? I don't mark like that for every single piece of work. But certainly, every few lessons. So the students have to do something immediately, right now, beginning for the next lesson, what can be done for it. And that's going to be really well. Uh, this is my last slide. I love this. This is the Wonder Wall of Resistant Materials. It's massive. You know, couldn't be from that. And on it, they just have things from spark sheets, examples of really outstanding work. And the students can walk right up to it and touch the thing. Um, and I just thought that was that, that's really fantastic. I've just shared a few, few bits of scenes I've been going around recently.